Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to create a dismissible advertising uh, section. It's basically a section in your layout um, where you could use to advertise something or you know give a notice and the user has the ability to you know dismiss it okay and uh, and it is done in such a way that um, if the page is being refreshed it doesn't come back until um, you have different options you could decide until the browser session has ended which means until the browser is closed or until the next day or you could set uh, a duration maybe two days time three days time before it shows up to the same user so if I close this and then you know um, open the browser again okay uh, you'll see that it will come back but once I close it and then refresh the browser it doesn't come back so let's just go right into oxygen and see how to achieve this now I have here um, a page layout that I've set up using the uh, design set from the oxygen um, design set okay um, so uh, what I want to do is to just build or put in another section we're going to be using as our, a dismissible section so I want to place that somewhere in between this somewhere in between what we do and testimonials okay so I'm just gonna select that and then I'm gonna go to add and then um, yeah I want to add a section something like a showcase okay and then I want to add something like this so I have uh, this section I have this section I want to use as the advertising section um, I want it to look a bit different I don't want it to go from H to H so I'm gonna just remove that background from the section and then I'm going to open it up now we have a column here and what I would want to do is to have that column have um, a black background that same dark background okay and also I would like to place um, the close icon here that we're going to be using for our close button but since this um, layout uses uh, columns, uh, we can place something in the column outside the two divs here, okay? So what I'm going to do is um, I'll probably place it, yep, on this div, okay? So that's what I will do. So I'm going to select this column, and then I'm going to set the background color to that dark background color. And then um, I want to give it some padding, so I'll go with two rem. Um, I'll apply to all okay that looks good since it is an advert or a notice I want it to you know have a different characteristics that will make it pop out uh, so I'm gonna go give it um, a border okay so I'll give it like seven pixels of border and then I'll make it red okay or I can just make it the same color as this so let me let me just let me cancel that Okay, so if I click on this, I can choose. Okay, so that color is not available, so I'll just have to eyeball it. All right, I'm going to make this solid. So we have that. So why don't I, I increase this to 10? Okay, so I want that to be 10. Okay, that looks okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place that icon here. Okay, so to place that icon absolutely um, in this div. Okay, this div, this is, this is a margin, and this is where this div begins. So it's really not gonna be okay because it's gonna stay somewhere here I would like it to stay somewhere here and because of that I'm gonna wrap this column with a div and which I will use as a container to place that okay so I've wrapped that with a div okay I'm gonna set that div to um, display I'm gonna set it to display um, relative okay because I want to absolutely position the icon so I'm just gonna drop that icon All right, so I want to drop the icon there, okay, and let me move it up. All right, and I'm going to go to uh, layout and position it absolutely. And I want to be uh, maybe 15 pixels from the top and 15 pixels from the right. Okay, all right, so I'm going to change that icon. 
so um, first of all let me change the color so something like that okay and then I'm gonna change the icon I want to use linear icons and then I'm just gonna scroll down to get that X icon, you know close okay something like that X okay so I'd rather have a real like X so let me choose this all right so there it is okay so I'm gonna reduce the size of that icon okay so that is our close um, icon let me make it a little bit more visible all right I just want to add a hover effect to the icon now when it comes to icons if you go to hover and then you decide to use this to add the hover effect it's gonna work inside the builder but on the front end it's not gonna work so for to add the hover effect, uh, you know a change hover color uh, to your icon you simply just go to the typography and then set the color there so I'm just gonna set the similar color with what we have here okay and make it just brighter all right so um, all right so we have the hover effect okay so the next thing I want to do is um, I just want to select this and uh, just rename it so I would know um, what I'm working with okay so let me just rename that that section so I'm just gonna call it add section this that's an optional thing okay and the icon of course we know that is the close icon next thing is we're gonna add a code block all right uh, that code block is gonna be outside here just want to place it outside here and then I'm just gonna drop in some code before that let me comment out this PHP code and then I'm gonna go to JavaScript and then what I'm gonna do is I'll just um, copy a JavaScript and paste there then I'm gonna explain what is going on okay to save time all right so we have a couple of comments um, a couple of script that is commented out okay and uh, those are very optional depending on what you want to do so now so we have a function here and it's called my function so I could change that to um, anything so I'm just gonna say um, close add function. all right okay so I'm, I'm, I'm calling that function close add section that's what I'm calling it doesn't matter whatever you call it but just so that you would know what it does okay so um, we're gonna um, so we are passing a variable okay you know that you know says get element by ID so it grabs the elements so let's look at uh, elements so the section here is section 102 one, okay so we're gonna pass the name of uh, we're gonna get we're getting the elements by ID the add section that we want to hide okay so we're gonna go there and then supply that ID okay all right that's the ID we want to hide and we're gonna and we're saying that um, the, the variable X is the style for this um, the style for this section so so it's, it's the style dot display is equals to none so that is what a var that is what a function does so the function basically sets the display of this section to none okay and then um, it also creates a cookie okay and we create a cookie with the name uh, section advert okay and uh, then let's not worry about these other commented ones we're gonna look at it later all right so now we have created this function now I'm gonna go to um, what we need to call that function on clicking this um, you know close icon okay so what we're gonna do is go to select the icon go to advanced and then we're going to go to attributes we're going to add an attribute on click okay and then we're going to call that function close adds section so that is the name of the function all right so what we're saying is when you click on this button call execute this function okay so um, let's just double check that the name of the function is correct okay appears to be correct so I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna to go to the front end and see what happens alright so 
we have this loaded and then um, when we click on this it closes it now if we refresh our page it comes back okay now uh, what we said was that it should set a cookie so that it will not come back so we wanted it to set a cookie all right and this cookie um, doesn't just has has only the name and it doesn't have expiration by default when you set a cookie okay without an expiration date it defaults to expire at the end of a session that means it defaults to expire when the user closes the browser okay but now um, that cookie isn't expired okay but that cookie has been set okay so what I'm gonna go let's just take a look at you know what is going on at the back end all right, so I want to take a, take a look at the cookie and the site information. Okay, so we're going to search the name of this site. It's called, uh, what, Gentle something. So we're just going to type Gentle. And then you can see that there is a cookie here. Okay, and the name of the cookie is Section. And the name of the cookie is Section Advert. So that is the cookie that has been supplied here. So what's the function of the cookie now? Okay, so what we're going to do is that we want this to display only once a session that means when you dismiss it if a user goes to other pages and comes back to that home page or refreshes the browser we don't want it to show again as it is showing here okay so to do that we're going to go back to that section and then we're going to go to oxygen condition and then set condition we're going to add condition and then we're going to go to cookie list now we're going to say if the cookie does not contain a value okay so um ads so what was the name of our cookie so i think it was ads um section right that was the name of the cookie now let's just go and verify code block oh <laughs> that wasn't it section advert pardon me all right the name of the cookie is section advert so we are saying that now only display um this thing when the browser does not have this cookie that means the cookie has not been set yet all right and the cookie is being set when you close that means this thing hasn't been closed yet so um therefore the cookie is not set so uh, we're going to put the name of that cookie there all right so display this only if the cookie does not contain this word all right so i'm going to save that and then i'll save this now, one more thing I want to do is um, I want to set this icon to have, you know, a, a pointer like a finger, you know, that pointer like it is a button. OK, because right here, it just doesn't look like a button. So I'm going to go to the advanced CSS. OK, and then just say um, cursor pointer. OK, and then let's see what happens. Let's see. All right, so it changes, so you can see the hand there. So, um, and then another thing I want to do is, um, for this div, I want it to come in, since it, it is an advert, I just want it to, you know, come in like an advert. So I'm just gonna apply, um, these are optional styling. I'm just gonna apply, um, you know, uh, animate on scroll to it, just to make it just zoom in, okay? And uh, maybe faster. Okay, 200 micro, look at it again. All right, something like that, something fast. Okay, I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go back and refresh this page. All right, so it doesn't show because we already have that cookie in our browser. And then the condition that we apply to the section works. So even when you refresh it, it does not work. So now, oh, sorry, it works. What I mean is it does not show up again as we intended. So if we go back to the setting, and go to um, cookies and site data see all cookies and then um, the site name um, type it now we can see that cookie here section advert now if we delete that cookie and then refresh this page it's going to come back up okay so that's basically it now let's take a look at the code now if you want to set the cookie you know to show up the next day you want it to show up when um, the browser 
Now, for now, what happens is that it's set to expire at the end of a browser session, meaning when a user closes the browser, okay? But um, if you want it to expire the next day, you can use this code instead, okay? So if I remove the comment, okay, uh, you can see the code here. Now, so you can set um, the expiration to one day, all right? Or you replace one with any number of days. So if you put two here, that means it's two days. If you put three or 30, so depending on what you want to do, so you could change that um, value and then remove this one. And then um, for this one, um, you have another option here. Now, what we have here is that when you close this, it just closes. But if you wanted to have an effect, maybe like it just fades out. For instance, um, if I want to fade this out, instead of using this, okay, um, I could just comment this out and then use this instead, okay? Now, if I save that, now because I've already... Um, close it here. I don't want to go into start into, into the setting anymore. So I'm just going to launch a new browser um, and then I'm going to just check it out. All right, that's the that's not the page. Um, all right, that is the page. Okay, so I'm just going to check it out. So we have the so when we close it, okay, it doesn't work. Sorry. And uh, what we didn't do is that we did not put the name of and don't forget to put your section, okay? So I didn't replace this section with our section. So I'm going to just save that. Okay. So remember to replace the section name with your section ID. So that's the section ID. All right. I'm going to refresh this. And then when I close it, it's just going to fade out. Okay. So that's just for the extra effect of fading out. So if I refresh this browser, nothing comes up. But if I close the browser and then open the browser again and then go back, it shows up. So that is it for the tutorial. That is it on how to create a dismissible um, um, advert or info section using oxygen and a little bit of custom code. Uh, I hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's going to help in any of the projects you want to do. Um, it's a very good alternative to using a model to display an information. So in this case, you could display that information in line, okay, just like this, or um, you could, um, I don't like this repeating, so you could set it to repeat only once, to do only once. You could place this literally anywhere. You could just place it here. You know, an, an, an idea would, would be to use maybe in a grid box, you know, in a grid layout, you could just place an advert that you can close. And once you close the other, you know, grid child would just expand and fill in the remaining space. So anything you want to do with it, you could place it in the header. You know, someone can close it out, you understand, like a header notice. You could place, place it as a footer notice, okay? Not a model, a real simple uh, notice that can be dismissed. And then you can still scroll the site while that notice is there. So um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do take time to um, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and also share this tutorial with others. Have a great day and I will see you some other time.